Alright, this is going to be a quick tutorial on making lightning. I've already made a, a black layer just to uh, so you can see the lightning better. Um, first I'm going to create a vector layer and I'm going to use the freehand tool and make sure the stroke is white or whatever color you want the lightning to be and make sure the auto fill is off just so it doesn't make a close the shape or auto close. That's what you don't want on. I'm sorry. So just draw a lightning bolt and um, obviously do it better than mine. Mine looks crazy. <clears throat> and I'm going to select all by hitting Command A. And then I'm also going to go under the draw menu and hit peak. And that just makes the um, edges sharper. So if I render it, you can see they're a lot squarer. And um, then I'm going to go to frame one, and I'm going to use the magnet tool, and I'm going to click on a couple places and just select random vertices. Then I'm going to go to uh, frame five and do the same thing. Maybe select the middle ones. And now I'm going to select the two keyframes that I just made and right click on them and go to noisy. And we're just going to change the scale. Um, the smaller the scale, the faster it vibrates uh, the points. So that looks pretty good. Uh, it might be just a little bit too fast. So we'll go select both of those. And um, uh, let's try 1.4 and see what that looks like. It's a little better. Now we're going to create another layer. Actually, let's not forget to name this. This is the bolt. And we're going to create a new one, new vector. And we're going to call this the mask. And we're also going to create a group layer. And lightning strike. Call it lightning strike. And select both of the, um, the mask and the bolt and drag them both into the group layer. So they're all in there. Now, um, let's select the mask and I'm just going to make this a green square just so, so you can see what's actually going on. Um, I'll draw that at the top and I'm going to go to frame one and just create a, I'm going to click on this, the mask just so it starts a <clears throat> keyframe. Then I'm going to select the two bottom points on the mask, drag it through the lightning a little bit, go a couple frames in, drag it a little bit farther, a couple frames in, keep doing the same thing, and then I'm going to grab the top and uh, bring the top down so it passes over the uh, lightning bolt. And I'll just make that last one just so it just so it just goes over it. So now that we have our mask, what we want to do is um, let's move the mask to the bottom of the group because when you double click on a group layer and hit masking and hide all, the bottom layer is actually just automatically becomes the mask. So when I scrub through the timeline you can see that the lightning bolts only shown um, as the mask passes over it but we don't want to see the green so to fix that we'll just double click the mask go to masking and add to mask but keep invisible now when you scrub through you can see just the lightning bolt when it passes over So there's only really um, one thing left to do is to uh, oops, add the sound effect. I just um, went on Google and typed in lightning wave and just downloaded the very first one that I found. Um, it's not the best sound, but it, it was free. So hmm. Let's just add audio. I think that's the lightning. Yeah. 
but it doesn't look very fast. So we will let's go back to the mask and squeeze these key points, or I mean these keyframes closer together so it just passes over the lightning faster. Move it to right where it's the loudest. All right, now let's just render 60 frames to see what it looks like. Uh, export animation, 60 frames. And it shouldn't, should just be like a second to render. <clears throat> and there it is. Let me loop that so you can see it again. So there's a quick way to make lightning.